Now, the only time you'll ever see me bring an actual box to the field to show you a product is when there's no case included. So there's no case included with this one. So now you're asking, so what's so different then with the X9PS compared to the previous model, the X9P? Well, this one's under 250 grams. You'll see on the unboxing, I actually weigh it and it's, yeah, it's under 250 grams. It can fly longer because they made it lighter. So the previous model only did 15 minutes. This one does 21 minutes. Apparently they've also increased the distance. So the previous model did about five or 600 meters. This one's supposed to go over a kilometer. They even say it's supposed to go a mile. It is one of those drones where you connect your phone to the controller and then the controller does the signal to the drone. So it does give it a boost in technology. It's like a repeater. But if you want, you could connect your phone direct to the drone, toss away the controller and you'll get about 100 meters distance. That's it. So you can see I've put X9PS on it because it looks just like the previous model, except it's lighter. We still have the camera gimbal on front, which makes your video really good. It is 1080p. This version still has the brushless motors. They're a little bit lighter and a little bit different prop design. You can still put a micro SD card in the back, just like a DJI Spark. We still have the optical flow sensor at the bottom so you can fly indoors or keep it nice and still outdoors. And finally, we have the very bright indicator lights on all the arms. Very good for night flying. So I did a really good review on the X9P and I'll put a link to that below. You should check that out because the review I'm gonna do on this right now is just really fast because since I've already done that other review, this one here is supposed to go farther, fly longer, and it weighs less. So you don't need a certificate or anything like that. So that's the bonus with this one. All right, so I've got some sunlight up here. I've got a bunch of guys working out in the field, either watering the field or drawing the white lines. So we're gonna go fly and you might see them in the video. Here we go. All right, first things first, let's turn on the controller. Next, we turn on our drone, hold down the button, get that beautiful sound. The gimbal will adjust itself eventually. Now on the phone, we have to connect the phone to the controller, not the phone to the drone. So now I've connected this Wi-Fi at home. So if I check it here, I should be connected to the controller. Let's just make sure. Yeah, it says right here, controller. You can probably see it on my screen. I'm doing a screen capture. So we're all good. Next, the app you want to use is the Enjoy Fly. Start that up. It's going to ask you to bind. Okay, click the bind button. You should get a bind successful. There we go. And we're all set to go. It's that simple. Click on the Start Flying and we'll go into the app and I should see what my camera sees. Over here on the controller is how you move your gimbal up and down. There it goes. As long as you can move your gimbal up and down, you are connected. Now, of course, this drone will not take off no matter what I do because it says, hey, you didn't do a compass calibration. So I have to do that now. So on the top right, we have three dots, click that. And you can see, you can do all your settings, your beginner mode, everything else. The one you have to do is the one that says compass calibration and gyro calibration. So do your compass first, then your gyro. All right, so I'm gonna click on compass calibration, put this down and please stay away and then hit calibrating and it should start. There, it says horizontal. So when you do horizontal, just hold it and walk in a circle like this. And then sometime on your screen, it's gonna say something ridiculous in English that makes no sense. But when you see that, uh, just change the direction and point your gimbal up or down. I have no idea which way it's supposed to go because there's never any instructions with these. So yeah, I'll point it down and just turn around again. Turn slow until it says calibration success. All right, so after you're calibrated on the top left of your screen, it will say ready to fly and you should have some satellites. I have nine or 10. Pull the joysticks out and uh, take it on up. All right, first thing to show you is the video quality. It's on record now, 1080p. I'm getting really close to the drone. And if I wanna bring the drone at me, I could just go backwards. Hopefully I don't hit anything. <laughs> you can see behind me back there, I got a bunch of guys playing soccer or getting ready to play soccer. So I gotta stay away from them. Okay, let me show you the features really quick. So what you do on orbit is you decide what you wanna orbit. So let's say I wanna orbit me. I get close to the drone, I take it up in the air. That's a good height for an orbit. Then I look at my screen and you see where it says position. I go position and I click on the word orbit and the drone's gonna start spinning around, getting ready for the orbit. Then on my joystick, I'm gonna pull back the radius. See, it's orbiting right now, a tight little thing. Pull the radius back to about there and just let it go. And there we go. It's gonna start orbiting me. I'll just bring the camera down so you can see me. So that's the orbit mode on this baby. Yeah, you can bring it pretty low and almost crash the thing. Here we go. I've got it down to the ground. Let me see how low I can get. Whoa! 
Oh, I almost crashed it. I almost crashed it. There we go. Okay, let's get out of orbit. Now, to stop the orbits and everything else, you click on orbit again and hit it. All right, I got tractor guy behind me going by. Now, the same is true for the other ones. If you want to do tracking, you just click on the position, and then you click on track, and it will go to tracking. It's got to find my phone, so it's going around looking for my phone. And you see on the screen, I have five, six, seven. That's your height, so if I put it out like, I don't know, let's pick a seven, that's pretty high. Did I get seven? It should go up. See, it's going up. So I'm in track mode now, walking backwards. It should follow me. There we go. So if you're on a bicycle, skateboard, motorcycle, or something like that, you'd put it up higher so it doesn't hit anything as it's following you. And uh, let me see if I turn to the side. Go to this line. Still good? Yep. All right, the drone's way up in the air. The wind's blowing it. You can see it moving around on my screen. So I'm going to show you the zoom on here. I just click on the top and 50 times zoom. And I should be able to zoom into those guys way down there. See my drone's moving around. It's not the greatest zoom here. Let me just bring up the drone. There you go. So on my screen, you can see the guys on the soccer field far away. And if I zoom out, there we go. Also at top of my screen, I have HD. You can see it just puts it in high definition, go off. Then I have side-by-side -side screen. I don't want that. And then I, where did I go? And then I have upside down screen. And of course the 50 times zoom right over there. And on the left, it says MV. That's for music video. If you want to make a music video, I'm not going to do that on this here device. Okay, the drone's are way up there. I'm just gonna take it forward away down the field and uh, we'll see how far I get. I'm at 150 meters now. I'm at 250 meters now and I'm bringing it up to a height of 50 meters. So I have some range. So let's see if I can make it past the school. Normally any drone I use, I can't make it past the school if it's a budget drone, so let's see. The school shoots out a lot of Wi-Fi interference, so let's see how good this communication system is. 400 meters, not bad. And we're passing the school. Still at a height of 50 meters, 52 meters. 500 meters, so we know it can go 500 meters. Let's bring the camera up a little bit. I'm shooting out into the sun, so it's not gonna be the greatest of video. We're at 600 meters, we are at well, let's see if I can make it up to a thousand meters. That's like one kilometer away. That's quite far. And we're at 700 meters. Wow, that is far. So they obviously have increased the communication system in the X9PS. It's much, much, much better than the previous model. So I'm going to go to a thousand and then kill it there. 944. 950, 960, 970, 980. There we go, guys. I can go beyond a thousand meters. That is crazy. I'm gonna make it out to the next highway it's so far. That is crazy. All right, now I'm gonna hit the return to home. Try to keep this video short. Sorry if it was longer than it was supposed to be, but you know, I've reviewed this drone before and this is just a cursory review to show the improvements they've made to it. Okay, let's see how close it comes. Coming back, let's see, there she is, and uh, landing pad's over here. Oh, you missed it by that much. Are you gonna land? Are you gonna stop? Are you gonna stop? I think it's gonna stop. Not bad. All right, it's super hot out here. I've got a tractor over here. There's gonna be a tractor sound in a second. It seems to follow me everywhere I go. X9PS, really quick, really good drone, super impressed. I did take it out over a thousand meters, but my Apple phone in the heat, the sun here, it crapped out and my screen record just stopped. It just died. So I don't have that to show you, but I do have the video. Well, you saw the video from here as I went out a thousand meters. So I put below that I was out a thousand meters each time I called out the distance. So I'm pretty impressed with that. Uh, yeah, so they actually fixed that. 
It is lighter. It does fly much longer. You get a lot more than 15 minutes, so that's pretty decent. So I'm gonna put links below to where you can find the X9PS. Check it out and uh, see if it's a drone for you. It's not very expensive. There's probably discounts right now. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and I will be back again in the future with many more budget drones, super expensive drones, all sorts of tech in uh, yeah future videos. See you then, bye. And now a super fast unboxing of the X9PS. Now you might be a little bit confused because this box looks identical to the x 9 P box. There is no difference whatsoever. The only difference can be seen right here. The X9P says right here, it says X9P 5G drone and the X9PS says X9PS 5G drone. And even holding the drones in my hand and looking at them, there are no differences whatsoever. They are identical. This is the new X9PS and this is the old X9P. The only way you can tell them apart, at least for me, is uh, to weigh them. So watch this. X9P, how much do you weigh? 261 grams. X9PS, how much do you weigh? 248 grams. Honestly, the only difference I can really see between the two is check out the props. This is the old one, this is the new one. So less plastic on the new one, more plastic on the old one. Even the motors look slightly different. All right, so let me show you what comes in the box. But first, let me put a label on this so I don't mix this drone up with the other one. There we go. There we are. First item in the box would be the instructions and they do say X9P. Next you get the battery charger, USB cable, a bag that contains spare props, Allen wrench, screws and everything to well change the props. You get the rechargeable controller, plug your USB cable in there, charge it up and finally you get the cell phone holder for the remote. And now a quick look at the X9PS. We have brushless motors, foldable props. These are not foldable arms, they are stuck in that configuration. Going to the front Front, we have a nice gimbal. Check that out. So we have a gimbal axis this way and a gimbal axis that way. It is not a three axis gimbal. There is no gimbal axis this way, but there is a vibration dampener because I can move it, which is pretty nice. Optical flow on the bottom. In the rear back here is where we put our micro SD card right there. And you do have a USB port. And on the back, we have the battery. I still have the sticker on it. So let me just get rid of that and uh, push it in. We can see how much power we have left. We just have uh, about that much power. Oh, I I held it too long. Now it starts up. Hold it upside down. There's the lights and the gimbal will adjust itself. Have the normal venting ports on either side if it gets too hot. Removing the battery. There it is right there. You can see it's a 1000 milliamp 11.4 volt battery. And this brings me to the end of my review. If you have questions on the JJRC X9 PS, post them below and I will get back to you. If you'd like to know where to buy the JJRC X9 PS, you know it is pretty cool. It might even come with some discount codes. Well, check it out. Check below. There might be discount codes you can get at a reduced price. And more importantly, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and I will catch you in another video with many more drone reviews. Take care.